Hey guys, it's Jordan with National Speed, and today we're covering a bit of a controversial topic. Does intake manifold porting actually do anything on a 2018 or newer Mustang 5 liter? Now, I personally don't mind admitting that I've always considered this to be one of those good modifications to do while you're in there. And given that we've seen measurable gains on other platforms, this isn't something that exactly jumped out as being worthy of investigation. With 2018 and newer Mustang 5 liters, I've seen gains from individuals all over the place from 5 horsepower to over 20 horsepower from porting alone. But what we realize is what we haven't seen is a real controlled test. And since we got on a bit of a comparison kick with our test 2021 Mustang GT, we decided to run the test ourselves, removing as many variables as possible. But before we get into that, let's go over some important details on our testing methodology here. Now, pretty much all late model Fords have a feature that's called dynamic advance. And with this, the ECU is constantly trying to add or subtract ignition timing to optimize performance for conditions as well as fuel. And what that means is that without any change to hard parts or the calibration strategy, you can see some pretty significant swings from dyno run to dyno run. And it goes without saying that that's a pretty glaring variable for what needs to be a controlled test. So with that in mind, for every hard part that we change out, we'll be optimizing the calibration and then disabling dynamic advance for each dyno port. This means that the only difference we're showing in the graphs is from intake manifold porting alone and not from the ECU changing ignition timing on its own from run to run. And all of these runs were completed in a two hour window on the same dyno with the same calibrator with very similar conditions. It's about as controlled as we can get without a laboratory setting. All right, with that all said, let's get started. First, our test car is equipped with our stage two naturally aspirated package. This includes a JLT performance air intake system and stainless power long tube headers connected to the stock exhaust. A 93 octane, our baseline with stock intake manifold comes in at 459 wheel horsepower and 422 pound feet of torque. Now back to the shop to have the ported intake manifold installed. And back to the dyno. And after several runs to validate our findings, we see absolutely no gains whatsoever. Now, I'd like to say that this company makes no claims for gains on a stock Gen 3 engine, so we can't ding them here. That said, we're gonna be looking for opportunities to perform this exact same test on more heavily modified Gen 3 setups. And guys, there it is, pretty straightforward results. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. And as always, if you have any questions at all, we're happy to chat. Thanks for watching.